beautiful Taylorsville Lake. 50 degrees today, I picked the right day. What we got going today? We've got gill nets stretched out. You're setting nets for catfish with a specific size net, so you're just getting catfish. We were getting a lot of reports of bigger fish being out here. Oh man, right off the bat. What is your workup? What do you, what do you find out from these fish? So what we're gonna do today is when we pull the nets and we're just gonna be getting some just general information. We're gonna be looking at uh, how many we catch, what the condition of them is, how much they weigh, um, cause that'll help us determine if our stocking rates are, are effective. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Dave, were you expecting this? Uh, not this much, no. This, wow. this was uh, quite a bit more than we had last time, so. Ah. What we're gonna try to do is just get them worked up real fast and get them back in so we don't put any more stress on them. 2025. This is the first year we've done it. And then what we're gonna do is we'll try to follow it over time. And hopefully what we see is we see more big fish. We see our numbers increase. We wanna see what the, the potential of this fisheries is. It's still kind of a young fisheries. And we're trying to see how fast they're growing, what their max size can be, see if we got reproductive potential out here, possibly. How long has it been going on again? Okay, we started stocking over here in 2002. Okay. So we've, we've stocked every year since 2002. Um, we, we stock about 23,500 a year over here. They go in about, typically they go in about seven to 14 inches in length. Our weights on them, we look at them, our, our fish up to 30 inches, from 2002 to current, conditions have been really good. Our, our condition on fish greater than 30 inches have been excellent. So, I mean, they really are packing on the pounds once they get to that 30 inch size, they really start filling out. Just to put it in perspective, uh, right now our growth rates, at, at a 30 inch fish is gonna be about a 10 year old fish. Wow. You know, they don't get there real quick. You know, that's one reason why we, we, we put the krill limits and put the size limit trying to uh, slow down harvest and actually see what this fisher can do. And then this is another way to help us evaluate the effectiveness of the, the new regulation that we put in in 2011. Which is? Um, you, can, you can keep uh, only 15 blue and channel catfish combined daily per angler, and only one of those can be over 25 inches. So, so we're hoping what it'll, what it'll do is we'll actually see a buildup of some larger individuals and hopefully increase the trophy potential that we have over here. We got the forage base for it, so. In December, we were out here and I got a picture of a 55 pound blue catfish that we caught in these gill nets. What's the biggest one you've heard of, period, out of this lake? We've heard of some 60 pound, fish in the 60 pound wow. range uh, being caught um, from, from different angler reports. I'm not believing what I'm seeing here. I think we're all impressed. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and people are loving it. We're starting to see really big fish show up. So the trophy potential is starting to be there and people are loving that, you know, also. So it, this, is, this has been a good stocking program uh, for the department. It's a good time to talk about the hard work and dedication that goes into each and every lake that we manage. It's, it's guys like you and the guys like this right here that love our resource, love what they're doing. And these guys go out and probably fish, a lot of a lot of fish techs, man, I, you know. We spend a lot of time outside of work fishing, so. 27.5. Mm -hmm. What's your input been from folks, fishermen? What are they thinking about this fishery? This fishery has, has been a, a very, very good thing that the department's done. We've had a lot of success with it. The anglers are loving it. Um, one of the most popular methods over here is jug fishing. Um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a really good uh, uh, put, grow, and take fishes right now. There's been a lot of, we get a lot of harvest. Blue cats are good to eat. You just gotta, you just gotta know that that's some good stuff right there. They are, and uh, you know, I think we did a study over here, and I think about 82% of what was being caught was being harvested. <laughs> so, so people know they taste good. <laughs> that fish weighs what? 36.5. 36.5.
Well, here's the cool thing about it is, by our standards, a 35-inch blue cat's a trophy fish, and that's a 41-inch fish. Wow.